Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days, and I'm going to start off with this clip that I took on Tay Awawara that really just had me laughing. This turkey just got completely stuck flying into this tree, and this is the first time I've ever seen one get stuck like this. So I really couldn't resist hitting record and taking a shot and just seeing what would happen. And honestly, that is probably one of the funniest ways I've ever harvested an animal in this entire game. So I really just had to start off with this. Sticking with Te Awawara multiplayer servers, I joined this server and came to my, one of my favourite Shamwa spots, still looking for an albino, but instead of finding an albino, once again I found a level 5. And this guy is actually a guaranteed diamond with an estimate of 59 to 66, so I was hoping he'd be pretty big. And he's also specifically one of the fur types I've been after, this is the dark brown fur type. The name really doesn't make sense with the fur type, it's quite a pale colour color but it's one of the fur types I really really wanted to get a diamond of so I was very pleased to get this guy he is a 60 scoring diamond so not my biggest but a really nice dark brown diamond chamois and I actually managed to get a heart shot on him which just was brilliant another really nice diamond for the trophy lodge and again, sticking with Te Awawara multiplayer servers, again I was looking for another albino animal, this time an albino seeker deer, but once again found another level 5 seeker. I cannot seem to stop finding these guys, and they're not one of the easiest diamonds in the game to find, but I just seem to turn them up all the time in my search for an albino. Hopefully one day an albino will actually show up for these and for the chamois because I desperately want one of each of those for the trophy lodge. But finding these diamonds is always nice. This is the smaller rack for Diamond Seeker but I was pretty confident this guy would make it and as you can see he dropped to that shot really nicely and it is the dark spotted fur type which is a really nice looking fur type and I chose the uh, forest sort of floor background there for the background for the trophy shot but a nice dark spotted 209.50 diamond seeker deer so again another really nice diamond for the trophy lodge Moving on to a Vrahonga Savannah server now, and I saw something that I haven't actually seen very many of recently, and it is a gold Gemsbok. When this sort of spot for the Gemsbok became really popular, there was a lot of these being shot, and I saw quite a few of them myself, even to the point where I wasn't taxiing each and every gold Gemsbok I came across, but it's been a little while since I've actually seen one, so I decided that I would actually record this one, because they are such a beautiful animal, and they definitely seem to have become rarer again, which is really nice. And this one was a decent size level 3 female, which actually made gold, so that is a gold, gold Gemsbok, which is really nice, and again, a Another heart shot which is always really nice to make um, those drop shots on these animals but you can see decent sized gold female it would be really nice to get a really really big one but this one will actually replace a slightly smaller female that was in the trophy lodge so definitely really happy to get this as an improvement Moving on to a Silver Ridge Peaks multiplayer server now, and I was at one of my favourite spots for Mountain Goat, actually here looking for a Melanistic, as that is one of the trophies I have been desperately wanting to get. But instead I noticed that one fleed off before the others, and when I spotted it, it was a level 5. Now, I really like the level 5 Mountain Goat, they are a very impressive diamond. The size of their horns compared to the normal ones, like the smaller ones, is insane. And I actually managed to heart shop that guy right there which was really nice I always love dropping an animal like this on the spot and he is actually the light brown fur type which does look good on these guys and he is a diamond at 111 on the dot which is actually a really nice size mountain goat so very happy with that not a personal best or anything but a very nice diamond to come across and it's always um, always a bonus finding a diamond of a species when you're looking for something specific amongst those animals so really nice to get that guy 
And sticking with Silver Ridge Peaks multiplayer servers and Mountain Goats, I found this guy, another level 5. Now, it is so cool to find the level 5s for these Mountain Goats, as I have mentioned, and they do troll fairly often, but I was pretty confident that this guy was also going to be a diamond. He just looked like he would be big enough. And I was trying to make him go alert and give me a nice broadside shot. I didn't want to risk taking a walking shot as he was going down this slope, just in case I somehow misjudged it and I hit spine or something weird like that when they're going down a slope like that. I just really wanted him to go alert so that I could get either a frontal shot or a broadside shot. And here I managed to get him to go alert and he did offer me a really nice frontal shot and again managed to get him in the heart and drop him in his tracks. Now he is actually the beige fur type which again looks really good on the mountain goats and this is a nice size one again at 110.40. That is a nice size diamond mountain goat as well but just look at how huge those horns are. The mountain goat honestly are one of the best models in the entire game. They seriously look fantastic. So I'm always happy to find a diamond for these and you can see that nice left lung and heart shot there that brought him down instantly. Now moving on to a Yukon Valley server and I actually got host of this multiplayer server and it was completely unhunted and between me and some other people and it was just the best hunt I've ever had on an individual map ever. It was incredible. And starting off at this outpost, I saw something I have been looking for since I got this PC account, which was an albino plains bison bull. I was so excited to see this guy. Even though he is on the smaller end, I just really needed an albino plains bison for the lodge. It was the only rare for these I don't have in the lodge. Unfortunately, I still need a leucistic bull. I have a leucistic cow, but I'd really like to get the leucistic bull and then I'll have all the rares as bulls. But you can see, managed to get a long shot on him there with the 300, which is exactly what I needed to do from that distance. I wasn't going to try and get a heart shot or anything. But you can see, such a beautiful animal. I really do love the bison in this game. They're so, so cool. And you can see a little silver albino plains bison bull. But with these, to me, it's more about getting the rare fur type. I really don't mind so much about the medal. As long as I've got this beautiful albino on the wall, you can tell he's an albino. And that is what's important to me. But you can see really good penetration there, actually, from the 300. So I was very happy with that. But yeah, a really awesome start to an incredible hunt. Now, one of the next lakes I went to actually had this guy at it. That is a melanistic plains bison bull. And I was really excited to see this guy because he is a level 3, so a decent size one that I was hoping would make gold. And I fired the 22 over at him to get him alert. And then I made a complete and utter mistake, but it ended up being really cool. I shot far too high there because I'd zeroed for 300 and I'd actually got closer than, um, than I was zeroed for. So that shot just went completely over the top of this guy and spooked him. But it spooked him in perhaps the coolest way I've ever had an animal spook, where he actually ran towards me. Now, I was really hopeful that if he did come this close that I would actually get to get another shot on him. And you can see there he goes nervous. So I start running towards him to try and get his attention so that he will go alert again, hopefully then giving me a broadside angle. And with the 300, that's what I would really like. I don't like taking front frontal shots on the bison, just in case something goes wrong. But he was behind this tree there. But I got the spotting outline and boom, popped him in the side and he went aggressive. Which was the coolest thing he could have done. Because it meant then that I got to watch him through the scope as he charged me as his health dropped. This is always a really awesome thing with something like the bison where they can go aggressive. If they go aggressive once you've got that fatal shot on them. You get to see the final charge and you get to see the death animation and everything up close and personal. Which was really really cool and I really like the melanistic plains bison I've shot more melanistics than anything else for plains bison but I think they look really cool just a huge jet black bull is an awesome sight especially out here amongst the crimson plain it is absolutely awesome 
and you can see really not that far away from me where he finally actually collapsed and you can see that first shot completely missed but that second shot got a right lung and he is a gold at 154.80 melanistic plains bison so we've got an albino bull and a melanistic bull on the same server only a couple of lakes apart which was absolutely incredible now I really do need to give a shout out here to ProXCK who you will have seen in the chat when I was hunting that previous bison. He was on the same server and he's awesome and he spotted a level 5 caribou but unfortunately it spooked and he did not have time to track it down. So he told me where it was and basically said go and see if you can find it. After a long time trying to work out where this guy had actually gotten to, I found him. And honestly it was one of the kindest things for him to actually let me know that that was there. He so easily could have just left the server and not mentioned anything about it about it. So that was a really really kind thing of you to do if you were watching this video and I really appreciate it, thank you so much. And as you can see we did eventually locate him and managed to get a shot into him. And actually in chat there was a couple of people that I've, uh, that I've spoken to before and yeah it was really awesome to actually have the chat going there whilst I was hunting this guy down because it did take absolutely ages to find where this guy had gone. It was probably about an hour before I even got to lay my eyes on him because he just would not go back to the zone he was initially spotted in so I ended up having to change the time so many times before eventually this guy would even show up and he is a really good looking caribou the level 5 caribou aren't exceedingly common to actually be this size most of the level 5 caribou I see are very small trolls so seeing one this big was so exciting for me because antlers in this game are one of my favourite things to actually hunt for so anything that's got the antlers as the trophy like this caribou are so exciting for me to go and find so this was awesome to hunt down and you'll see actually the other couple of people here in the chat that actually came over to come and see him as well because we'd all been talking about it Untamed Hunter is another YouTuber he also makes great videos as well so it was just so so much fun honestly one of the most fun hunts I've had in multiplayer so eventually I decided that we would come over I had a picture taken and uh, yeah I'm a claim it here. So that was really, really cool. And he is a diamond. And not only is he a diamond, he is a max weight monster diamond caribou at 448.80. That is a big diamond. And I cannot believe it. I was so thrilled. It made the whole process of trying to find this guy so worth it. And again, big shout out to ProXEK there for actually telling me about this guy, even though he unfortunately couldn't go and hunt him himself. It was a really, really kind thing to do. Thank you so much for that. And honestly, it led to one of the most fun hunts I've ever had. So it was really awesome. So yeah, a very, very cool hunt there on Yukon Valley. Moving on now to a different map and we are here on Quattro Kalinas and I'm normally here looking for rare mouflon, red deer and ibex but I find a lot of max level animals and this hunt was no different. I started off with this level 5 Iberian mouflon and he does actually have the common fur type that I actually prefer so I was very excited to see this guy walking around and he looked absolutely huge. Those horns have so much curl and so much depth to them and he ended up quartering onto me here but I knew that I'd be okay to take a shot like this with the M1 as if it hit a shoulder blade. The M1 is such a powerhouse I knew it could punch through it so as soon as I felt I had that shot I took it and I managed to drop him on the spot which is pretty common to do when you hit vitals on a mouflon and yeah this is just such an awesome looking common fur type I really really enjoy it. And he is a diamond, and not only is he a diamond, he is my new personal best for Iberian Mouflon at 184.80, which is a really good size diamond Mouflon. So yeah, that was a really awesome start being back here on Quattro to actually find that. And this server didn't just produce this guy either, so this was the start of another pretty cool hunt.
So on the same server but at a different lake I found this guy, a 9 legendary red deer, once again on Quattro Kalinas. But this guy had one of the most impressive estimates I've ever seen for a red deer at 261 to 307. Now it's pretty rare for red deer diamonds to break 270 so that top estimate is absolutely crazy but it made me think that maybe this guy could be a new personal best as well. And it's just it just goes to show what you can find on a server that really hasn't been very explored. Because this, as I said, is in the same server as that monster Mouflon. But my gosh, just look at how impressive this guy looks. That is, of course, the biggest rack style that you can get for a Diamond Red Deer. And they are just so impressive. Now, I am going to just take a little bit of time here getting my shot, as I was very nervous going to shoot this guy, as I wanted to make sure that I did everything perfectly because of how huge he is. So as soon as I felt I got that shot, I took it, and he immediately started to go down. So that was a good shot. And as you can see, really not very fast before he actually collapsed. That is one seriously big red deer down. What an absolute giant. So let's pick him up before anything crashes and he is a new personal best at 266.30 and not only is he a new personal best he is a max weight diamond. Now he's not the biggest diamond red deer ever but getting a max weight one is always really cool and you can see they make diamond at 251 so that's a very very impressive size for this guy. Double long and stomach shot. He really wasn't going to go very far from that. That's why I love using the M1 on these guys. But I was just so extremely happy with how this hunt in this server went. Two new personal bests for the Trophy Lodge. Once again here on a Quattro Kalina server, I made it Wild Boar and Iberian at Wolf Drink Time, mainly to look for rares, but instead what I came across was another 9 legendary Iberian Wolf. And I was pretty excited to see this guy as he had an estimate of up to 40, which is max for these guys. And I took a shot there just as I lost the spotting outline, but I was pretty hopeful that I'd managed to get along, but I couldn't spot him to see if I'd actually gotten that shot, so I checked the hunting pressure and he had gone down so I was pretty happy with that. He is a common fur type but he is a diamond 39.20 so not a new personal best but still another very nice diamond from Quattro Kalinas. Now for the final diamond animal in this video, I was here at the Cape Buffalo hotspot in the south and I was looking for a couple of specific trophies but instead what I found was this small horns black fur type legendary Cape Buffalo. Now I am really terrible at telling if the small horns Cape Buffalo are going to troll or not but looking at him compared to the couple of mythicals that were running around he definitely looked big enough to make diamond to me and they were running into a very nice open area and I had the height advantage so that I could actually keep an eye on them for quite a way as they were running away and I was hopeful that I would actually be able to see him go nervous and then alert in sight as they kept running in this direction and that is exactly what goes to happen here you can see he goes nervous and then alert and what Cape Buffalo will do is they will go alert and then they'll sort of stand with their heads up for a few seconds and then they will turn to the side shaking their head and then they will take a step forward in that direction and that is where I always choose to take my long shots is as they turn broadside and that shot felt like it landed a little bit far back which worried me but thankfully you can see his health is dropping there so I managed to get away with it and actually clip a vital organ which is exactly what I needed to do and you can see there he collapses so that was a big relief I was really worried that I might have messed him up and he really does does look like he could be a diamond to me on the ground. Unfortunately you can see he, the um, one of his horns is in the ground but he did look big enough and he did make diamond at 151.90. So not massively over the score requirement when it's 151.30 that makes diamond for these guys. 
but you can see that shot is quite a bit far back. I would have liked that to be a lot further forward, but thankfully it worked out and I did manage to get the diamond on this guy. So another really nice diamond to go in one of the trophy lodges. Now for the first of three very special animals to end off this video with. I was running around on Te Awawara looking for a couple of specific animals when I saw this very pale looking European rabbit. Now it didn't look like an albino to me compared to the albino in my lodge but it's definitely very pale and I knew it wasn't a common and I was hoping it was a leucistic and it actually was. Now leucistic European rabbits are very rare. You do not see a lot of these guys get posted ever and I have been wanting one pretty much ever since they came out and I've just never gotten lucky enough to come across one. And then I just found this guy whilst running around, not even looking for rabbits. I just went past the burrow and noticed this very pale rabbit amongst them. This is a really, really cool little find. So I am very, very happy with that. This now means that I have all of the rares for the European rabbit. Of course, the melanistics are more like an uncommon. And then you have the albinos and the leucistics. But I never thought I'd actually finally get one of these guys. So I was extremely happy with that. Now once again here on Silver Ridge Peaks, I was at one of my favourite mountain goat lakes and there's normally an absolute ton of them here. There is a zone that is closer to the outpost and normally what happens is I will spook those goats and they will run around the edge of the lake so I can see what was actually there rather than trying to get a spot on them at a really difficult angle as you come down to the lake. And I was just looking at the rest of the goats that were drinking here waiting for those goats that I had mentioned that I had spooked to come into view. And as they did, I saw exactly what I had been looking for, a melanistic female mountain goat. I could not believe my eyes when I finally saw this. That is just an incredible rare. To see a jet black animal like that, on an, it's a jet black fur type on an animal that is normally white, is incredible. Like, albino mountain goats are cool, but... Uh, mountain goats are white anyways but a melanistic when you know it just looks insane on an animal that's normally white i could not believe it i was so excited and i just wanted to get this thing down before anything could go wrong these are so incredibly rare you do not see very many of these ever so as soon as i got that shot i took it and you can see she's going down and that was one of the best sights i have seen in a long time playing this game was seeing this actually go down Oh my gosh, just look at how cool that looks. That is just one of the most insane rares in the game. Melanistic Mountain Goat. Oh, I was so unbelievably thrilled. I couldn't believe that I'd actually gotten one. I had to take a couple of screenshots. What a gorgeous looking animal. And there she is, a melanistic silver female mountain goat. Now, of course, you could get one uh, a male melanistic, but honestly, I couldn't care less. I am just thrilled to finally have one of these so insane looking rares. It's just it's just incredible. I cannot believe I finally have one. One of the most exciting moments I have had in Call of the Wild. Honestly, it's up there with finding the great ones for me because these are just so rare. I am absolutely over the moon with this harvest. And finally, once again here on a Vrahonga Savannah multiplayer server, I spotted out of the corner of my eye something else that I have been desperately looking for on this PC account. I knew exactly what it was before I even got the spotting on it. That is an albino female wildebeest. I love the rare wildebeest. They look so cool. And I had so many albino wildebeest on Xbox, but on PC they have been extremely elusive. I have looked through a lot of wildebeest trying to get another albino. They are so beautiful. They really, really do stand out and they are just gorgeous. One of the nicest albino models in the entire game, in my opinion. They really just look gorgeous to me. And I was just waiting here to get a broadside shot on her before anything happened. And that was the shot right there. And you can see she really, really quickly starts dropping health. So I knew I'd made a good shot on her, which is just such a relief on an animal like this. The, I just wanted to pick it up immediately because I did not want to lose, a, lose another animal that I've been searching for. 
but just look at how gorgeous this model is absolutely beautiful they don't have pink hooves but they are just just such a stunning model i really do love the albino wildebeest and i was so happy to finally get one again unfortunately there was no real nice sky background to take a picture with so i decided to use the animal's body as a background here just to pick it up and get that nice harvest screen and as you will see, she is a gorgeous albino film female wildebeest. Silver scoring. Again, I really don't mind with the medal on this. This is about getting the rare for me. Really nice double long shot from the M1. And another really desired animal for the trophy lodge down. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed some really special trophies in this one for me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching all of that. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.